one will go out of bounds. This is something that Wisconsin has struggled with, kicking the ball out of bounds a couple of times this year. That was something Jack Van Dyke had done and lost his kickoff spot. And now it's Lom who does the same thing. Kick out of bounds by the kicking team. By rule, the ball we place at 35-yard line. First down. Larry Smith gets us the official rule. We'll see if that can get the running game going to what they are more accustomed to. And on first down, they give it to him. Henderson breaks one free into the secondary and picks up nine. Second down and one. Johnson in motion. Low snap. McCord handles. Feeling the pressure. Has to get rid of it. Good rush by this Wisconsin defense. McCord keeps. And he's got the first down. Coming off the game with 11 catches, 162 yards, and a touchdown last week against Penn State. Fresh set of downs from McCord, dials it up, and it's complete along the sideline. Julian Fleming for another first down. Handoff around the outside, Johnson. Sets up his blocking, and he picks up five. Anderson, bounce it. Henderson stutter step. He stopped in his tracks. Nice job going low by Jason Matry. Third down. Your running attack. Their passing game has been really good, but the running game has got some catching up to do. Big third down here for this Wisconsin defense. McCord. Good pocket, delivers, too high, looking for Harrison, fourth down. Little uh, miscommunication that time. Ohio State, eight of 14 on fourth down. This is fourth and three and a whistle. Yeah, they had to call timeout. Ryan Day went running down the sideline to call timeout. I don't think timeout. the play clock was down. Ohio State, the first and a half, will be 30 seconds in length. Harrison's in the slot, and Stover is up top, the tight end. Fourth and three. McCord feeling it. Goes down. Ball comes out. Wisconsin looking like they can jump on it, and they do. C.J. Getz punched it out, and it's recovered by Muma Jung Meta. Major swing for the Badgers. And now we get to see how Braden Locke fares, and it's just a second career start. Hands it off for Braylon Allen, who will pick up four on first down. But a... And so I think this moment will not be too big for him. He just has to take care of the ball and make quick decisions. Right back to Allen. This is who they want to feature. This is where they want to win. And that's why the ball does come out, and Ohio State jumps on it. Davis and Igbenosin right there to scoop up the loose change. Second chance after the Wisconsin defense once again this year held the team scoreless on their opening drive. It's Henderson, lowers the shoulder, picks up six. There he is again, Henderson up the middle, and it looks like he's dumped down about a half yard shy of that first down marker. McCord will throw over the sideline. It's Henderson in stride. Henderson splits defenders, and he's tripped up from behind inside the 20. McCord steps up, looking end zone. Tipped in the air and complete. Henderson. And then it was Harrison, and he was locked up with Hallman, who has done a great job stepping up in that starting role. Yeah, Hallman made a nice play here. He had eyes on the football, so he knew when it was in the air, and he got that left hand up and knocked it away. Johnson has it on the end around. Johnson looking for space and tripped up inside the 15. It'll set up third and short. Chip Trainum in there for the first time. He's got the handoff. Trainum surging forward, and he's going to be two yards shy of the first down. Jaden Fielding in for a 27 yard attempt.
And it is perfect. So the number three team in the country puts up three after the turnover. Allen hit, gets away. Allen lost it again. Fight for it. Ohio State thinks they have it. Proctor's the first man to put his arm up. Well, now if that was one of their main goals was to establish the run early. Allen has chewed up yardage, hasn't protected the ball. Now second and six, locked to the air. Lost one, way too far out in front of his intended target. Igbenosin and DK were locked in coverage together, and a flag is down. Well, there's going to be a pass interference or a hold, one of them on the Holding. defense. Defense, number one, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Well, so far, his poise looks good. Back to the ground, back to Allen. And he stood up after a gain of two. Lock fires. Incomplete through the hands of DK. Third and seven. Lock. Bat it down at the line. Ty Leak Williams got a hand on it. That's something that you don't see all that often from big boys up front. So it'll bring up Atticus Bertrams. The Australian punter will send it deep. And just gets it off. Flag is down after he releases. Ballard looking to make something happen for Ohio State and ushered out of bounds just shy of the 20. We'll see what the penalty is. Illegal formation. Kicking team five in the backfield. Ohio State will take that penalty at the end of the kick. Five yards. First down. Timeout. Forward on play action to the outside and another completion to Julian Fleming. Pick up about five. A pretty good season this year, especially with Abuka out for several games. Abuka is available, but we've yet to see him so far tonight as Henderson swallowed up in that pile. Henderson splits wide. McCord surveys, fires, incomplete, again in the direction of Harrison, and Ricardo Hallman has taken that challenge. So it'll bring out Jesse Murko for the first time today. Jim Ray DK back to receive it for Wisconsin. DK evades. DK splits the seam. DK shimmy shake inside the 40. Big time return for Team Ray DK. And for DK and this team, 35 yards after a 43 yard boot. And now the Badgers in business. Play action. Lock. Lofts it. Looking towards the end zone. Incomplete. CJ Williams, the intended target. And Igbenosin back there deep. Yeah. Raylan Allen has played virtually every snap and that's what has been the case since Malusi went down another play action throw on the run and finally a completion for lock will go to Skylar Bell third and five excellent receiver out of the backfield you can get back after that as long as he doesn't make contact a lot of times you tell your center if you feel that offside snap the football but they didn't do that play clock under five Lock's gonna have to hurry here or take the time out they didn't get it off yeah, that's he's got and, and Phil Longo is pointing at the clock. Offense, five yard pile, third down. Vakos, the kicker, has hit from 52 this season, career long of 55. Here's a third and ten. Lock over the middle, too high. He had a man open. It was Will Pauling, his go-to target in the slot, and now a decision for Luke Fickle and company. It's fourth and long. The sophomore from Avon, Ohio. He's going to try from 54 yards. Not going to get there. Not at all. Not even close. He stands out no matter what. And Wisconsin's held him in check so far early. We'll see if they can get him involved as McCord loads up deep for Fleming. Incomplete. Means Carnell Tate, the true freshman, who has gotten a lot of praise from his 
teammates and coaching staff is back in there. Look at the wiggle ability right there from Travion Henderson to get the positive. For tight end Kate Stover either. Third and six. McCord lofts it. Harrison makes the grab. He is special. And now movement. Kurt Neal rammed through that Ohio State offensive line. Offside. Defense number 92 with contact. Five yard penalty. First down. Yeah, what happened was he saw the guard tapping the center to alert him to go ahead and snap the football, and he went on that movement. McCord looking to take advantage now. Lofts it. End zone. Henderson can't make the catch. Take the shot on first and five. Still inside the red zone, looking to pack on more points before the end of the first. Henderson delayed handoff. Henderson escapability dies forward. Half yard shy. It'll set up third and short. Henderson. Oh, he stood up. What a hit. John Meta. Met him. After the play, a sportsman like conduct, taunting, defense, number 94. Half the distance to the goal, automatic, first down. Extend the drive now for the Buckeyes, first and goal. Play action, great fake by McCord. Rolling, and McCord, oh, he throws an interception! Yeah. His first pick since week one, taken away by Preston Zachman. Mentioned this first quarter being as critical as anything in this game. How would his team respond after an emotional win and especially against the number three team in the country? Allen continues to be the bell cow. Play action, lock, gets rid of it, incomplete. Penn State started 0 for 15 on third down last week against this Ohio State defense. Wisconsin 0 for 2 to start today. Lock delivers in and out of the hands of Will Pauling, usually dependable, and the drop will cost the possession. Bertram's been back short. on. Anyway. Would have been, yes. Deep in your own territory, and instead Bertrams will try to flip the field. Ballard deep. And the angling kick is going to make him. Backpedal for no reason here as it sails out of bounds and gives Ohio State outstanding field position. Gordon Harrison, six years together now, dating back to high school, and both have said that they've, they've had to learn how to play together at this level after dominating at the high school level. As Henderson has another handoff and a big hole up the middle into Wisconsin territory for a first down carry of 10. Play action of Johnson, dump it down, it's Henderson. Not a whole lot of space to work with, spun down after a pickup of one by Waller. And he is an outstanding playmaking defensive back for this defense. Second and nine for McCord, good time, and just leaves it. Henderson looking for that first down marker, and it's going to be close depending on the spot. And we've seen that composure just improve with each week as McCord going to get a nice push. And a first down. Who asked for 49 tickets for friends and family tonight. Carnell Tate, the motion man in the slot. Here comes the rush on McCord. Poised, calm, delivers. Another first down. G. Scott. Train will stay in there, knocking on the door of the red zone. Trainum gets past the first surge and turns it into a gain of four. Marvin's working on a different corner right now. Ford wasn't looking there initially. Now over the middle, right back to to Harrison, who's going to get that stride and find the touchdown. 
Deja vu for one of the best weapons in all of college football. Seventh touchdown of the season sets up the fielding extra point 24th of his career. It's also his fourth consecutive game different ways knowing teams try to take him out of the offense. And they said that he's always working extra at practice to make sure he's ready. DK on the return from the goal line had the big punt return earlier and this one he's going to get to the 25 before him being dragged out of bounds. Have any notes for him? He said that was the best news he could get. It was business call and lock under pressure gets away and then we'll just throw it away. He had a receiver open too, but he did the smart thing once. Jackson Aker is now in there at running back, so getting Braylon out a little bit of blow, and they will get it to Aker on the pass. Aker lowers the shoulder and gets to the 30, to set up third and five. Locke now just two of nine, nine yards. It's been tough sledding, and this Buckeye defense, as good as advertised. Locke stands tall. And finds his receiver bouncing off, but Green won't get there. And the, so Bertram's back out, Ballard back to receive another punt. Line drive kick, fair catch called for and made at the 21. They'll be training him in there on first down for the Buckeyes. Johnson again in motion, hand it right back to him. Johnson. Showing off the speed, spinning his way for a pickup of eight. Yeah, third time we've seen that play. I mean, it's a little change up. He has been an outstanding tight end this season. Just over fifth in the conference in receiving yards this year. Second and two, handoff Trino. And he's going to pick up the first down. And McCord quietly already up to 120 yards himself. Swing it, Trino. No, too low, incomplete. You know, it's a lot of big shoes for Kyle McCord to fill. Here he is on play action. A dart over the middle. It's Cornell Tate for a first down. Picks up 15. Play action Johnson. McCord over to Henderson. Slips a tackle. Henderson. And finally slammed down inside of Wisconsin territory. Ball start. Ball offense number 88. Five yard penalty. Third down. Momentum shift in their favor here. And another interception. Ricardo Holman's fifth of the year. Now you got to capitalize. Third turnover of this first half. And here comes Braylon Allen on a chunk game. Yeah, and, and, and he's got to be your guy, right? You got all three timeouts in just under five minutes. So you can run the football. I'm going to go right back to it and not get anything. Blown up in the backfield. Whoa. Number 44 lined up in a neutral zone. That five yard penalty will result in a first down. Fake the reverse. Lock can't get away. Tripped up. Jordan Hancock with a burst to the QB. Try to get 10 here. Quick throw to the outside. A completion for CJ Williams. And they will get it. Nice gain of seven. Not this time. Allen on the blitz pickup. Lock over the middle. Complete. First down and more. Will Pauling. And a first down for the Badgers. Back to Allen. Stutter step. Gets away. Allen inside the red zone with a gain of seven. Play action lock on the run. First down. Skyler Bell. Instead handed off. Allen. Juke. And gains nine. Now this is this is Braylon Allen saying, put the rock in my hands. Let me get us right where we need to be at halftime. Allen up 
the middle. And that's going to be a first down and goal. First and goal. The clock will stop now. So they don't have to burn a timeout right here, but they do need to get themselves lined up and ready to go. Lock throws inside. Touchdown, Skyler Bell. Ohio State was thinking quarterback sneak. The ruling on the field is when the receiver recovered the ball, his knee was down, and the ball's at the one and a half yard line. It will be second and goal at the one and a half yard line. The clock will start on my wind. Because the play comes back to a live ball, there's a 10 second subtraction. Wisconsin has chosen not to use a timeout. Therefore, the clock will go from 46 to 36, and it will start on my signal. So they've got all three timeouts here. 36 seconds left. You're second and goal at the one and a half yard line. Those 10 seconds, in theory, really right. shouldn't matter all that right. much. No. No, the timeouts in your pocket are huge right now. 12 personnel now, two tight ends in for Wisconsin on this second and goal play. Allen Barrows didn't get it. Stop short. Yeah, Jack Sawyer, number 33, made a great play. JT Tuu Molowau is down after the play, though. Prior oh, boy. To the timeout, injured player on the defense. It's an official's timeout. Lock shovel. Allen Time stood up again. Up. Now, this is the last thing that Wisconsin possibly wants to see. That's Braylon Allen, yeah. who is being looked at on the field. And already without Ches Malusi, as we've talked about, it's more inexperienced now behind Allen. Jackson Aker got a couple of snaps in this first half. Let's get Wisconsin on the board. And he drills it. So Vakos brings it to a one possession game as we go to the half. Wisconsin will get the football to start the third quarter. You're without the bell cow and without one of your captains in your return men. Well, and for Jackson Aker, it's his turn to step up, not just as a runner, maybe even more importantly in this second half as a pass protector from the running back. Go to the air on first down, a fastball, and a first down completion. Bryson Green stays on his feet across midfield, dragged down by Steel Chambers. Nice confidence boost there for Locke as well to get the quick completion. Now a delayed handoff for Aker. Good blocking, and he has stood up after he crosses the 45-yard line of the 44 by Eichenberg. Lock, patient, and just in and out of the hands of the intended target, Will Pauling. Normally, this is Will Pauling time for Wisconsin. Lock's going to run it. Plenty of space. First down and more. Green and Lock inside the red zone. 29 yards, career long rush. Now lock back to the air, will dirt it. Lock, dump it, Aker. And he is wrapped up by Chambers, quickly picks up two. Didn't really have to do that. He used them to his advantage as a running back. Third and long, lock. Fakes, looks through his progressions. Lock, end zone, touchdown, Will Pauling. No, yes, touchdown. Vakos with a chance to tie the game on the extra point. And he does. Lom sends it away. Johnson will let it fly into the end zone. Badgers defense has been excellent so far today. Let's see how the Ohio State offense cooks early. Henderson bottled up. McCord lofts complete. Harrison foots down. Adam. 
Kate Stover, number eight in white, still without a catch today. Henderson. No running room. The Wisconsin kid who has so much pride playing for the Badgers. On second and 11, McCord, another completion to G. Scott, and it will set up third and about five. Now they got Harrison in the slot again and kind of a bunch. Here he is in the middle. McCord feeling it, dumps it. Trainum has to get away, and he will. Will they give him the first down? It looks like they've got him at the sticks, and they will move the chains. Henderson slips through, gain seven. Ball comes out, Scott picked it up. Will they rule Henderson down for the time being? Henderson finds the hole. Henderson, burst of speed. Henderson inside the red zone. 25 yards, up to 76. And he'll get another carry here, go backwards. Hunter Waller lives in backfields. McCord under pressure, hit as he throws, end zone. Touchdown, Marvin Harrison Jr. Wow. Just continues to leave his imprint on one of the greatest programs in the history of the sport. First down carry for Aker. And drags the pile with him across the 30. Delongo wants to speed it up a little bit right now. Tempo. Stay on the ground. Tui Moloau couldn't get to Aker, and he'll make it third and two. Third and two. And that's going to be awfully close. It looks like Aker is, in fact, short. Cody Simon with a great job on the extra push to keep him from that line of game. High kick, fair catch called for and made at the 24-yard line. Henderson and Henderson gets away and then just kind of skirts out of bounds after a solid game. Henderson, oh look at the shimmy shake, that was sick. Picks up three. McCord looking that way. Now McCord's going to run it himself up the middle for the first down. Henderson. Henderson explodes, picks up 11. So miscommunication, McCord trying to get the signal from the sideline. Henderson almost up at 100 yards, 93 yards now on the night. Play clock down to three. Henderson, hit in the backfield, loses yardage. Daryl Peterson. McCord well protected. Dump it, train him, drag down. Nice play made by Austin Brown, the safety. And they're going to show pressure. They've got guys up around the line of scrimmage. Doesn't mean they're coming, but they're showing pressure and straight across coverage across the back end. Play clock down to three. And Ohio State's going to have to burn a timeout. McCord feeling the pressure. That's Got it fumble. down. That might be a fumble. Wisconsin's nope, going to jump on it. They're ruling it incomplete. But that was very close, and McCord gets up limping again. 
Justin Gebbia if he had to come in. And now, let's see, there's a flag down. Well, now they're going to call intentional grounding. Intentional grounding. Offense. Spot foul. Loss of down. It will be fourth down. Massive for the potential decision to maybe kick a long field goal or punt the ball. Terry, what did you see on this play? Yeah, no, I, I mean, it is clearly intentional ground. Even though his, his arm gets hit as he's throwing it, there is nobody over there that he could possibly be throwing it to, no eligible receiver. So this is certainly intentional grounding. And now McCord. Terry, my question just was it was it close enough to even take a look if it was a backward pass or not? I I, I think they probably should. It, it's we need a, a, a really right down yeah. the line angle to, to prove one way or another. Yeah. But the ball it, also it, got it's, deflected. It's, it is too. Worth, worth a shot. Yeah, I think the defender hit the ball as well. So Merco will punt to try to pin Wisconsin deep. Fair catch called for and made at the six yard line. So the next guy up would be Tristan Gebbia, a transfer from Oregon State. Oh, what a play in the backfield by Lathan Ransom. Yeah, just timed this up perfectly. Here he comes, number eight. It's a run blitz. They're anticipating a safe, conservative play and just an unblocked defender for a, a play behind the line of scrimmage. Cade Yacomelli never had a chance getting out of that backfield. And now major danger zone with what this Ohio State front has been capable of all season deep in your own territory. Second and 14. Can't hold it very long. Block trying to get out of there and just does. Tyleek Williams meets him with a bear hug. Tyleek Williams read that all the way again. Ohio State expecting conservative play calling here. He just stood up his block. He used his hands, shed the block, and made the tackle on the quarterback draw. Lock gets rid of it. Complete over the middle. First down, Scott wow. Bell. What a play. Two conservative Defense plays on seven, first and three, second. And then a big time throw and catch on third down out of his own end zone. And the effort by Skyler Bell to get the first down. Remember, Bell had the touchdown taken off the board at the end of the second quarter. Hancock's going to have to go out for a play after losing his helmet. But that is big time moxie. Oh goodness. And again, the fourth quarter, it seems like Braden Locke is at his best. Bell the motion man. Acre the handoff. Straight up the gut for six. Luke Fickle said all week that what he saw in the eyes and the faces of his players in the fourth quarter last week at Illinois is the first time he had seen that in the 10 months since he'd been there. The fight, the grit, the determination, they're going to need that same kind of fight and grit tonight in this fourth quarter. But what a couple of plays they just had. They're going to have to do it with Braden Locke, transfer from Mississippi State in just his second career start, replacing the fifth-year senior Tanner Mordecai with a broken hand. Led them in a come-from-behind win last week against Illinois, and here's another first-down carry for Jackson Aker. Well. Play action, Locke pulled it down initially and then just throws it away. That is what he is touted for, Braden Locke. It's his processing ability. We asked him, where did that come from? He said, I'm just a football junkie. Yeah. If I'm not playing, I'm watching it. If I'm not watching it, I'm thinking about it. If I'm not thinking about it, I'm surrounding myself in it. As Lathan Ransom getting checked out on the Ohio State sideline, this is where that junkie comes alive. Well, it sounds like he's been that way since he's been three or four years old. Yep. You know, just like used to go to sleep watching the replay of the Texas USC championship game. Lock, loss, perfectly delivered. Bryson Green out of bounds for a first down. And there is a small window. And now they're out to the 50. And off for Aker. Tough running. Keeps the legs turning into Ohio State territory.
Right back to him. Aker wrapped up, picks up one. A really nice play by Canoe, number 93. He's one of these extra defensive linemen. Here he is, number 93. He's a third teamer, giving some of the other guys a blow, does a beautiful job just fighting off the block of the right guard and making the play. Big third down here. Tenth play of the drive for Wisconsin. This tight end right here we thought was going to have a little bit more of a role. They haven't targeted him yet. Lock fires incomplete. Bell just could not control it. And it's fourth down. Well, this ball had a lot of mustard on it. It's, it's a short throw from the right hash to the right sideline. And that ball was humming on a cold night and Bell just not able to make the catch. He would have had to turn up field and get a couple more yards to convert the third down anyway. That was a tough one to catch. Meanwhile, Lathan Ransom, star safety for this Ohio State defense, did go to the medical tent, so we'll keep an eye on that as Atticus Bertrams will come on for another punt, looking to pin the Buckeyes deep. Angles it. It'll bounce and die inside the 15 at the 14. Pitch it for Henderson. Blockers in front. Henderson into the secondary. First down. Henderson still on his feet across the 40. Yeah, really nice play call by Rudy. He's got 122 yards in his return after not playing since week four. Right back to the hot hand. And this time he's tripped up. John Meta got to him in a hurry. That looked like movement by the left tackle. Yeah. Yep. That Josh is one of the Simmons. most one of the most penalized offensive linemen in the country, Josh Simmons. Transfer from San Diego State. False start. Offense. Number 71. Five yard penalty. Second down. And definitely got a head start. Rush is coming. McCord picks it up, delivers to Harrison again. So reliable on those long yard situations. And off Henderson. Oh, he's met. Runs into a brick wall. Bounce backward at the 41. Already 30 yards above their rushing average coming into the game. McCord in trouble. He'll go down. Muma Chong Meta, the captain who. Full rush, McCord just gets rid of it, incomplete. And the question was whether he was in the pocket, whether that got to the line of scrimmage, and if there was a receiver even close to the area. Yeah, well, and see, that's when you pressure, that's what you need to do. You need to get to the quarterback, and they're gonna call intentional grounding. You need to get there before he has time to get the ball to single coverage. Marvin Harrison had one-on-one, -on -one, and he was grounding. open. Offense, number eight. It'll be a loss of down at the spot of the foul. Fourth down. Yeah, he's, he doesn't get out of the tackle box, so you can't just throw it away, and I'm not sure it even got to the line of scrimmage. Now a punt on fourth and 19, so it completely, again, changes the trajectory of what the drive was going to look like. Murko just gets rid of it. Vinny Anthony calls for the fair catch, makes it at the nine. False start. Offense, number 60. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Joe Huber, the Cincinnati transfer. It's hard enough against this Ohio State defense, particularly in your own territory. They've only had two explosive plays, one run by Braden Locke, one pass completion to Bryson Green. There's the flinch by Joe Herbert Huber, the left guard, and now it's first and 15. Don't want to be behind the chains against this defense. Oh, just barely escape, and it turns into a solid play for Jackson Aker. Now, Tua Moloo Molo was, was in the backfield. I mean, his quickness off the ball, we know he can do it as a pass rusher, but watch him chase this run down. They're trying to bring the tight end across to block him, and he's just not there quick enough. 
And JT almost blew that play up in the backfield. Tucker Ashcraft, the freshman, also from Seattle, which is where JT Tuimoloau is from Edgewood, Washington, just outside the city. So Seattle on Seattle, it ends up being a gain of six. Now locked to throw on second down. In trouble, a little high and bobbled incomplete for Ashcraft. Here's a third and nine. Lock loads up a deep ball down the sideline. Incomplete. Uh, Bryson Green, the intended target. And they picked on the wrong guy. I mean, did. So Bertram's from his own end zone. He's going to have to get a good one away. High, but short. And the fair catch called for and made by Ballard. And again, they're going to hand it off to Johnson around the edge. And Johnson pokes forward, picks up nine. They have had great success running on the perimeter tonight. With all of this, Cade Stover still without a target here tonight. Henderson. Not a whole lot of running room. Tripped up. It'll be just like a week ago against Penn State. Henderson gets away. Henderson stays on his feet. There he goes. Travion Henderson. Touchdown, Ohio State. 33 yards and a dagger. Wow, just beautiful blocking up front. I mean, just great blocking. Henderson pays it off, but watch the block here in the second level. Watch the right tackle. Number 70, come over there, Josh Fryer. Watch these guys just blow a hole in the Wisconsin defense that has been very stout tonight. One missed tackle there at the end. And Travion Henderson pays it off. It'll be a touchback, so 5.15 left here. There's still... Plenty of time if Wisconsin can get into a hurry up mode that Braylon Allen hurt at the end of the second quarter has not played in this second half ruled out for the rest of the game. Aker is in there calling in motion. Locke looking to escape and he just gets arm barred backwards by Tyleek Williams. How strong is he up front? Uh, very powerful guy. I mean, he's very disruptive on the inside. He's, he battled some weight issues earlier in his career, but he's playing at a very strong weight right now and just pushes the line back into the backfield and makes the play. And again, it's this Ohio State defense that only gives up 10 points per game on average, one of the best marks in the country, continuing to dominate. Lock. Steps up, a fastball, and he just skips it in the direction of Green. Third and 13. Oh, even though this is technically what's called the air raid offense, this is not how this offense is built to play like this, drop back passing every every down. I mean, they want to run the football, have balance, but at this point for Phil Longo, they just don't have that luxury now. No Braylon Allen and down by 14 points. They've got to throw it just about every down. Ohio State will only rush four and play coverage. Lock gets rid of it. Complete another first down. This time it's Pauling. Very nice touch on that ball by Braden Lock. Right back to the air. Dangerous throw and it's dropped by Williams. I think Williams dropped the ball because of the flash of Jordan Hancock right in front of him. Jordan Hancock read this and made a break on the football and I think his body flying in front of the receiver distracted him and he didn't make the catch. 406 to play. Three timeouts for Wisconsin. They've got to move quickly. Lock in the pocket, dumps it down Aker. And he lowers the shoulder and gets a few extra yards, getting close towards midfield at the 44. Lock rips it. Aker, first down out of bounds. Deep drop, unloads, and incomplete. That one was dropped along the sideline by Bell. 
Let's not forget that Ohio State's one of the best at limiting explosive plays have not allowed a play to 40 or more yards this year. Lock feeling the pressure, gets away. Lock on the run, incomplete. In prime position, just trying to hang on here. One of many Big Ten powers that had a tough game here today on this Saturday. And that incompletion in the direction of Pauling will set up fourth down. Lock, going to have to get it done. Cannot, knocked away by Sonny Styles. A couple of first downs, ends the game. Train on the running back and trying to weave his way through. Met after he picks up one by John Meta and company. Pitch it for Trainum. Evades. Trainum got to stay in bounds, and he does. Yeah, good move by him to do that. Ohio State, every test that they've been given, they have passed. Look like they are well on their way here to an 8 0 start. They'll hand it off to Trainum on third down. It'll bring up fourth and long, and likely a punt after Getz adds another tackle. When Kyle McCord turns the ball over a couple of times, had just one interception all year through two of them and lost a fumble here tonight. Anthony over the middle for a first down. Clock will pause here with under two minutes remaining. So 150, they'll get up to the line quickly and try to go. It's very difficult to win in college football if you don't generate explosive plays. And Ohio State has done a great job of not allowing that. Oh, and then caught back by Locke. He's just going to head for the sideline. Probably better off if he just let it fall. <laughs> Dump it, Aker. And he'll get out of bounds. See how he does here on fourth down and nine as he steps into one. Nearly intercepted out of the hands of Josh Proctor. As McCord takes one final knee, and that'll bring us to the finale of this game. Ohio State continues a balanced effort and improves to 8-0 on the season.